All right, I'm here at my DR site. Actually, it's my parents' house. And uh, I know you've seen my setup a million times, but here's the setup I have at my parents' house. This is my NAS server right here. I got a uh, bad hard drive in it. I got to find out which one it is. So I'm going to log into the um, GUI interface and uh, pull the serial number up and see if I can match it with the serial number. Too bad it ain't one where I can actually see the serial number. Just my luck. It's going to be one where you can't see the serial number This in here. So, let's pull up FreeNOS. Find out which drive is going bad. Okay, so I'm going to try this by the shell. Um, basically, I just went in there and just hit 9 for shell. I'm going to just type in uh, Z pool status do pipe less so I can look and see what we got here yeah, just raid 11z offline as you can see here's my disk that's failed right here I put took it offline so it's this label right here which I need to write down okay so basically I just wrote the uh, first part of this number down is because that's the only one that's actually different as you can see I wrote this one down, CDED766D, that's what I wrote down. So now we're going to just get out of this. Okay, so I'm going to just go to hard route and uh, just type in the command manually, which is, uh, I'm going to G-label list, pipe less, and I'm going to just manually scroll through it. If you were a, a um, ex, you know, if you knew the command line, you could just grab that piece out or do a said on it and show you know that without having to scroll through this stuff but uh, I don't know that command off the top of my head so we're going to just go like this looking for 766D 766D there it is right there C D E D 766D what we're looking at, okay, ADA 6, so we know it's the hard drive ADA 6. So we're going to write that down. Okay, now that we know it's ADA 6, now we just type in CAMS, controls. Identify ADA 6. Pipe less. Okay, and there we go. We got the serial number right there. So we're gonna write that down, and that's when we know that's the serial number. Okay, great. Now, of course, if you have anything running on it, you know uh, I gotta shut mine down because I gotta thing going on over here it's Frankenstein uh, I don't have anything running I actually migrated all my VMs off of it and my SIF shares are on another device so this is just being replicated to so I can just shut down this H now okay I shut my device down and I'm looking for the serial number now so just my luck it's not one that is visible that would be too easy wouldn't it so let's turn the right side oh yeah I got a stack of these bad boys ooh look at the dust in this old rag Tell them what we find up in this mug. Okay, so. Alright. See if it's in this stash. That's it right there. 
seven Z V zero H C. This is it right here. It's that one right there. That's bad. It's because my serial number matches. <laughs> you may be laughing about my Frankenstein. I ain't gonna lie to you. Knock on wood. I've never lost any data on this setup. I've replaced the hard drives in it. I don't even know how many times. The hard drives uh, have been shipped off and replaced. I've neglected the device sometimes and it's been in a degraded state for long periods of time and just a little bit of everything. I've been lucky I've never lost any data. So the good thing about this Western Digital Drive is I actually looked it up online. It's actually still under warranty. So I'm going to go ahead and ship it off and uh, get me a replacement hard drive and then I'll have me another spare. Uh, actually I have a spare terabyte hard drive already but basically what I'm going to do when I get the spare back is I'll probably just stick it in this empty base loft right here and the next time I have a failure I'll just do a replacement right then have a hot spare and then pull the old one out and get a replacement on that and keep on doing the same thing so let me get the other hard drive Okay, I got my spare hard drive. I'm gonna hook it on in. It's a Seagate terabyte hard drive. You know, yeah, I don't have anything massive. I'm working with them. Still using the old. I still have a one terabyte hard drive array. That's the reason why you see this thing stacked full of hard drives. It's been adding them over periods of time. And actually, uh, I have two arrays on this thing. I have one one terabyte hard drive array, which I consist of maybe five drives, maybe I'm not sure. And then I have a two terabyte array on here, which consists of about five or six hard drives. Both of them are running RAID Z1, so they all have a parity. So the two terabyte have a parity and the one terabyte hard drive array has a parity and um, I got it running as an extended one single Z pool uh, extended which I don't know it might be the wrong way to set it up but I ain't had any issues so I ain't complaining Alright, let's plug this stuff back in. I'm going to make sure my plugs are in good before I turn it back on. I mean, this ain't going to win no speed contest or nothing. For file, trial file transfers by no means. But I mean, it'll get the job done. And... The only thing that's holding the throughput on it is my raggedy gigabit network. So, I mean, it's not like it transfers that slow. It transfers at least at a gigabit, I know, because I can copy over files to it at 100 meg a second. So, that's pretty good. I got two controllers in it. And here's a another Seagate terabyte hard drive I might I don't even know what's up with this we'll just stick this in this might have been a spare that I brought a long time ago could be another bad one though who knows Let's stick it in there and find out I'm gonna turn this on make sure I close turn the power on on this All right, we're gonna boot, boot the old Frankenstein up That extra Seagate hard drive that I put in there, I'm actually going to write the model number down. It's because I don't know if I want to use that one to re uh, to do it because I'm not very I'm not 100% sure if this one's good or not. So I'm going to write the serial number down. 
Okay. Alright. Well, let's go into the shell. Z zoo Z pool status, first of all. Mm, pipe less. It's on the screen. Okay, so we got it there. Of course it's degraded, it's because we haven't did a replacement yet. So that's fine. Run a smart D on the system real quick. It's gonna give me those errors. Let's see. Okay, so we got device ADA zero firmware. I think that was given once before anyway. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, now basically um I booted up my NAS server and I'm back in the uh GUI interface of it. As you can see I'm got alerts here here. The status is degraded of course. You can actually go back to view volumes. Then I'm gonna click on my Z pool zero volume. Now I'm gonna click on volume status. And then here is the old hard drive that I removed. I'm gonna click on replace. And we'll choose AD7. We'll hit replace disk. And while that's doing that, it's going to take a minute. Don't exit out or anything. Okay, as you can see, disk replacement has been initialized. So now you can come here and see pool status. You can actually see that it's uh, at least re slithering. Um, of course, it's 0.12% done, so it's going to take a while. But um, it's doing it. Okay, so a couple of hours have passed, and um, basically, I ran the Z pool status again, and as you can see, the resilvered um, 209 Z pool status is online. Everything's online and okay, so the hard drive replacement was successful. So that's it.